From the very beginning of human development, we've always sought to make products that are truly essential, as simple and easy to store as possible. And for centuries, that's meant drying them. Because when you remove water from a substance, you stabilize it, reducing the chance of spoilage and making it easier to control. Dry goods can travel further, last longer, and reach more people faster, more cost-effectively. Whether it's milk, rice, or medicine. So if we can do it with food and medicine, why can't we do it with vaccines? We all know that vaccines truly are one of our most essential health interventions, yet today, they're being held back. They require constant freezing or refrigeration, even down to minus seven to centigrade. Specialist isothermal packaging, temperature tracking devices, fleets of refrigerated container trucks, specially adapted planes. All of it meaning that increasingly, vaccines just aren't reaching the children who need them the most. But there is a solution, and it takes us right back to air drying. Welcome to Sikkim. Thank you for seeing me. I'm so excited to hear about what you guys do here. Here at Sikkim, we air dry vaccines by using an ambient laminar-based technology called laminar paste. And so far, we have been air drying a large range of substances, including peptides, antibodies, viruses, and among those also live attenuated vaccines. Once we have air dried these substances, we have kept them at 40 degrees for four weeks or longer, and they remain intact. Wow. I would love to see how that works. Can you show me? Yes, of course. So gloves on, instrument on. Now it's time to air dry some liquid. I have prepared this liquid solution containing the sugar molecules, which we usually use when we air dry vaccines. So it's basically the same process. And I will apply the liquid to the nebulizer, which you can see here. The nebulizer is placed on top of the drying column. The nebulizer will create small droplets of liquid which will pass through an inner column within this drying column. At the same time, we have some very dry air which will circulate around the inner column. It removes the water molecule from the liquid and in that way we end up with a very dry powder. Wow, it all looks so simple. Is it really this simple? Yeah, it actually is. Air drying is actually the oldest pharmaceutical method of formulating drugs. In fact, it was used in China even 2500 BC. Well, other companies are not doing it this way. What are the other methods being used? The other methods being used are either freeze drying or regular spray drying, but both of these methods are very hard on the substances. And this is a very energy intensive process. With ambient air drying, however, the process is very gentle on the substances. And most importantly, it creates a powder which do no longer require the cold chain. Can we do this at volumes and not just with small amounts? Yes, of course we can do that. And this is exactly what we're working on right now. Today, the vast majority of vaccine packaging facilities, known as fill and finish plants, use freeze drying, also known as lyophilization, to dry their vaccines. It's a complex, capital-intensive process. Even small lyophilization plants require large teams and energy-intensive vacuum freezing chambers, each of which need to be washed between batches with cubic meters of water for injection, an industrial solvent that also has to be produced in the same plant, all of which adds up to major costs. But in an aseptic air drying plant, those costs are halved. Half the number of staff are required. The central air drying unit, operating in an aseptic room within a room, is smaller, more compact, and requires far less energy than an industrial freeze dryer. And no water for injection is required at all. These savings mean that the actual plant itself can be agile, energy efficient, and compact. A modular air drying fill and finish plant would measure 36 by 27 meters and could be manufactured in less than 24 months on any greenfield site anywhere in the world. Vaccines are not luxury items that should require specialist handling. They are true essentials. The technology to help reach every last child exists right now. After all, you wouldn't dry your best linen by freezing it or baking it. So why do it with vaccines? 
With ambient air drying, we're no longer holding vaccines back. Robust thermostable vaccines need no cold chain and can build the lives and secure the futures of all children, wherever they are. Let's set vaccines free.